peaks don't know there is a war on, he said. The pineapples don't know there is a war on. Food keeps growing. Someone has to eat it. He is like a stone. A pebble that, having lain around quietly minding its own business since the dawn of time, is suddenly picked up and tossed randomly from hand to hand. No papers, no money, no family, no friends, no sense of who you are. The obscurest of the obscure. <laughs> so obscure as to be a prodigy. He thought, now. Surely I have come as far as a man can come. Surely no one will be mad enough to cross these plains, climb these mountains, search these rocks to find me. Surely now, that in all the world only I know where I am, I can think of myself as lost. They want me to open my heart and tell them a story of a life lived in cages as if I was a budgie or a white mouse or a monkey. Whereas the truth is, I have been a gardener and gardeners spend their time with their noses to the ground. On the wire grid he had made, he laid strips of pumpkin over a bed of coals that glowed brighter and brighter as the dark came on. The fragrance of burning flesh rose into the sky, speaking the words he had been taught, directing them no longer upwards but down towards the earth on which he knelt, he prayed, for what we are about to receive make us truly thankful. With two wire skewers he turned the strips and in mid-act, felt his heart suddenly flow over with thankfulness. It was exactly how they had described it, like a gush of warm water. Eating the third slice and the fourth and the fifth till half the pumpkin was gone and his belly was full, Kay wallowed in the recollection of the flavors of salt, butter, cinnamon, sugar, one by one.